students today we will learn about elevation in boiling point before going in detail about the elevation in boiling point we should know what is meant by boiling point boiling point is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of any liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure right so if at all we consider a pure solvent in a closed container it has its own vapor pressure the vapor pressure is always less than atmospheric pressure if we supply heat to the pure solvent its vapor pressure increases and eventually the vapor pressure of a pure solvent p0 becomes equal to atmospheric pressure if at all we add some non volatile solute to the pure solvent then we as we have discussed vapor pressure of the solution formed will be less than that of pure solvent now the vapor pressure of this solution is nothing but this p should become equal to atmospheric pressure it means we have to supply certain amount of heat to it so we are going to increase the temperature so that its atmospheric its vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure now you look this solution vapor pressure is less than that of pure solvent so the solution has to be heated to a higher temperature than the boiling point of the sol solvent so that its vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure let it be tb so we can say that t not b is always less than tb there is increase say increase is greater one is tb minus t not b is the increase in the boiling point or we say that it is elevation in boiling point okay so we are going to what we have discussed let us see elevation of boiling point delta tb consider a pure solvent in a closed container its vapor pressure increases with increase of temperature the boiling point temperature is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure if a small amount of non volatile solute is added to the solvent the vapor pressure of the solution formed will decrease this means that solution will have to be heated to a higher temperature in order that its vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure thus boiling point temperature tb of the solution will be more than that of pure solvent right so what is this how we can represent it graphically say if at all we draw they will ask you to draw the graph so first thing is you are going to draw two perpendicular axes then along the y axis mention the vapor pressure and along the x axis mention the temperature temperature should increase from left to right whereas vapor pressure from bottom to top the atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere or in terms of bar is 1.013 bar we will consider a pure solvent let its vapor pressure at a given temperature let it be denoted by a given point as we go on increasing the temperature vapor pressure increases and eventually it becomes equal to one atmospheric pressure so this point where the vapor pressure of the solvent becomes equal to atmospheric pressure it is called as boiling point of the solvent denoted by t not b now for the pure solvent if at all we add a non volatile solute as we have discussed its vapor pressure decreases as we go on increasing the temperature vapor pressure increases when it reaches the boiling point of the pure solvent vapor pressure is less in order to reach the one atmospheric pressure we are going to heat it further so that its vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure this temperature at which vapor pressure of the solution becomes equal to atmospheric pressure is called as the boiling point temperature of the solution the increase in the boiling point is nothing but delta tb which can be calculated as tb minus t not b this is called as elevation in boiling point if they ask you to draw the diagram so anyhow you are going to draw two perpendicular axes vapor pressure should be mentioned along the y axis and you will have to mention it increases from bottom to top temperature increases from left to right
ठीक है ए बी इज दैट ऑफ सोल्यूशन टी नॉट बी इज दैट ऑफ प्योर सॉल्वेंट द डिफ्रेंस इट रिप्रेजेंट्स द एलिवेशन इन वॉल्यूम पॉइंट करेक्ट आगे हाँ वन मार्क के कहते हैं द इनक्रीज इन द बॉलिंग पॉइंट टी बी इज ईक्वल टू डेलटा टी बी इज ईक्वल टू टी बी माइनस टी नॉट बी इज कॉल्ड एज एलिवेशन इन बॉलिंग पॉइंट द डिफरेंट साइंटिस्ट दे हैव टेकन द गिवन सॉल्वेंट से वन लीटर इन दैट दे हैव एडेड द से वन ग्राम ऑफ डिफरेंट सॉल्यूट्स और दे हैव टेकन द different amount of the solvent and they have added different amounts of the solvents solutes then they have seen that for the dilute solution elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molality of the solution m okay so we can write delta tb is proportional to m thus this elevation in boiling point depends only on the concentration particularly molality not on the nature so the molality is nothing but number of moles present in 1 kg number of moles is nothing but number of particles so we say that the elevation in boiling point depends only on the number of solute particles therefore it is a colligative property sometimes they will ask you justify elevation in boiling point is a colligative property so you will have to write from the experiments it has been proved that elevation in boiling point depends only on molality of the solution which is a concentration term depending only on number of solute particles not on the nature that's why it is a colligative property we can remove the proportionality sign delta tb is equal to kb into m where this kb is called as molal elevation constant or ebulloscopic constant ebulloscopic constant depends on the nature of solvent irrespective of any solute say if at all we take water in that we can add urea or glucose sucrose or sodium chloride any solute we can add but kb value will be constant for water okay so if at all molality of the solution is 1 then we can write delta tb is equal to kb therefore kb molal elevation constant is defined as the elevation in boiling point of one molal solution elevation in boiling point produced for one molal solution so what is the unit of this kb look here kb is equal to we can write delta tb upon m delta tb unit is difference in the temperature and the kelvin and the very the molality is number of moles present in 1 kg moles per kg i will take kg to the numerator mole to the numerator so that kelvin kg per mole right so unit of kb is kelvin kg per mole so from different experiments it has been ascertained that kb is equal to r m1 delta tb not square divided by 1000 into delta h of vaporization where r is a gas constant m1 is molar mass of the solvent delta h vaporization is enthalpy of vaporization for the solvent tb not is the boiling point of pure solvent if at all we dissolve w2 grams of solute of molar mass m2 in w1 gram of solvent then as we have discussed molality is equal to 1000 w2 divided by m2 into w1 same value if at all we substitute in the equation delta tb is equal to kb into m we will get the expression as delta tb is equal to 1000 kb w2 divided by w1 into m2 we can calculate molar mass of the non volatile solute by rearranging it so that we can write m2 is equal to 1000 kb into w2 divided by w1 into delta tb so either the one the application anta nim kelthare give reason anta heli nimge usually exam alli kelthare sea water boils above 100 degrees celsius why anta kelidre it contains number of salts dissolved in it so whenever we dissolve a salt the boiling point of the solution found will be more ist helidre aitu idralli nimge en kelthar andre so 
they will ask you to draw the graph for one mark or problems based on this equation will be asked for three marks and in the CET they will ask the problems based on the calculation of molar mass or elevation in boiling point along with that rarely they can ask you to calculate the molar elevation constant and then they will ask you to write or define what is elevation in boiling point or give reason in the kuda character okay one more colligative property that is the depression in freezing point freezing point is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to the vapor pressure in its solid form if at all we draw the graph of temperature along the x-axis and vapor pressure along the y-axis then if we consider a liquid if we go on decreasing the temperature its vapor pressure decreases and eventually that gets solidified so as we decrease the vapor pressure of the solid form still decreases it is a temperature at which the frozen and the solid form okay so solid solvent vapor pressure becomes equal to liquid solvent vapor pressure this temperature is called as the freezing point temperature of the pure solvent if we add a non volatile solute to the pure solvent the vapor pressure of the solution formed will decrease so either the yamaglu graph solvent kinta kelagadane bartade as we have seen in the elevation in boiling point if we go on decreasing the temperature then at the freezing point of the solvent the vapor pressure of the solution will not become equal to that of the vapor pressure of the solid solvent because non volatile solid solute nam hakta idivi that will not vaporize so in the solution vapor is mainly due to the solvent so solution and vapor pressure solvent solid form vapor pressure bandaga solution as a whole will freeze so at the freezing point of the pure solvent solution vapor pressure will not be sufficient to have the vapor pressure of solid solvent so in order to get the solid uh, vapor pressure and solution vapor pressure to become one and the same this solution will have to be heated to still lower temperature if we go on decreasing the temperature then we observe that at certain temperature tf the vapor pressure of the solution and the vapor pressure of solid solvent will be one and the same so at freezing point we observe solid and liquid will be in equilibrium this what we notice here the vapor pressure of the pure solvent is more than that of the solution or the freezing point temperature of the pure solvent will be more than that of the solution so we notice there is some change in the freezing point or there is a decrease in the freezing point this decrease or depression in the freezing point is equal to t not f minus tf this is called as the depression in freezing point is it clear so we now we are going to study depression of freezing point delta tf the freezing point of a substance particularly solvent is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of the substance in its liquid phase is equal to its vapor pressure in the solid phase when a non volatile solute is added to the solvent its vapor pressure decreases and it would become equal to that of solid solvent at a lower temperature thus the solution freezes at a temperature tf lower than that of pure solvent t not f the decrease in the freezing point delta tf is equal to t not f minus tf is known as depression in freezing point in gain kelthare depression represent the depression in freezing point graphically e graph ana new aagbekagutte so vapor pressure should be 
plotted along the y-axis increasing from bottom to top whereas temperature increases from left to right along the x-axis. So experiments have shown that depression in freezing point is directly proportional to molality of the solution small m. Thus delta Tf depends only on molality concentration term. This molality is nothing but number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent. So it depends only on number of moles not on the nature of solute thus it is a colligative property. We know that molality of a solution produced from dissolving W2 grams of solute of molar mass M2 and the number of moles in W2 by M2. In W1 gram of the solvent and the upon 1000 and the bhrithi, so that it will be in kg number of moles present in kg in the bantu. So this is equal to we write molality is equal to 1000 W2 divided by W1 into M2. If at all we substitute the same we will get the expression as delta Tf is equal to in bhrithi we know Kf into molality. So molality badlu nan in bari budili Kf into. 1000 into W2 divided by M2 into W1. So we can write delta Tf is equal to Kf 1000 W2 divided by W1 into M2 or M2 molar mass of non volatile solute should be equal to. This left hand side tandre delta Tf should go to the denominator. So M2 is equal to Kf 1000 W2 divided by W1 into m2 by using these equations we are going to solve some problems okay so now we see that delta tf is equal to kf into m where this kf is called as freezing point depression constant or molar depression constant or it is also called as cryoscopic constant it depends on the nature of solvent different solvents have different kf values as the in water if it all be dissolved different solutes kf kb will be same adhe thara kf will be same for water now acetic acid thagundre adakke bere de kf irthe adrel now yavade solute hakidrannu kuda kf value will be constant it can be ascertained from the equation kf is equal to r m1 t0 e f the square upon 1000 into delta h of fusion where R is a gas constant, M1 is molar mass of the solvent, T naught F is the boiling point temperature of the solvent, delta H of fusion is the enthalpy of fusion of the solvent respectively. Now, what should be the unit of Kf? As we know, Kf is equal to delta Tf upon m delta tf is kelvin molality is moles per kg so per kg taken to the numerator it becomes kelvin either than kg per mole so unit of kf is kelvin kg per mole sometimes they will ask you what is the right of the unit of kb or kf if molality of the solution is equal to 1 then we can write delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. M is equal to 1 and delta Tf is equal to in now Kf. So molar depression constant is defined as depression in freezing point for one molar solution what is defined molar depression constant and new ether baribik okay so what is the application so molality expression baradre nani gashta hedde delta tf should be equal to kf 1000 w2 divided by w1 into m2 or even we can calculate molality of the solution more marks ge dhrmal problem kelutar nimge in the problem they will not give you directly the Sometimes they will give the values, sometimes they may not give. They will give the mass of solute and solvent 
and name of the solute will be given kf value will be given name kotre formula bardu you will have to calculate molar mass then you should calculate delta tf usually nimge elevation and boiling point kelodilla the or freezing point kelodilla they will ask you calculate the freezing point of the solution anta kelthare freezing point of the solution is equal to t not f minus tf anta bariddivi so first to we should calculate what is delta tf then using this equation delta tf is equal to t not f minus tf we will calculate freezing point of the solution okay ide tarane elevation and boiling point alli kuda nimge problems anna keltare so what is the application we know that in cold countries during winter season so the roads will be covered by snow alli say one foot two foot then can you get new news all all no other theory in order to clear the snow so other than us to take a look at the lot temperature and increase more of this at the end so in that case they will sprinkle the salt on the snow covered area so salt at the bottom the boiling point will or increase or freezing point decreases freezing point could be under salt as the snow it is melted and road will be clear okay so similarly in the cold countries car car in the ne or one place in the in one place go back how the so in the car it should not get heated at the radiator nally near and a cool and taggy use matter how the so temperature could be at the the ice freezes and those coolant pipes will break in order to prevent that they will add ethylene glycol so ethylene glycol nearly 33 percent hakidre the freezing point of the water will be nearly minus 17.5 degree celsius as to kadme bartada so that they can easily run the vehicles okay so nim githar mal in kedutare give reason alli ivaradannu kodutare why salt is sprinkled on the snow covered area or ethylene glycol is added to water which is used in car radiators so ivaradakku nu ven barebeku to lower the melting point of water anta bariteri so based on this two equations they will ask you to solve the problems for three marks usually ct allu kuda kelthare illi kuda board exam allu kelthare rarely they can ask define molal depression constant usually they will ask for one mark what is the unit of kf or kb both it will be one and the same kelvin kg per mole okay so based on this equation that is kf is equal to r m1 t not f square divided by 1000 into delta h of fusion idr mele problem anna only once they have asked for j double e okay but not for board examination they will they may ask you that is the justify elevation in boiling point or depression in freezing point is a colligative property generally they ask for one mark represent depression in freezing point or elevation in boiling point graphically so new graph anna tagibeku ashte graph tagibekidre see that vapor pressure should be plotted along the y axis and you should, you will have to mention that it increases from bottom to top temperature increases from left to right okay so in the next class we will solve some problems based on these two concepts